Welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling. So today, we are unraveling the mystery of installing multiple L-Range PoE IP cameras for optimal coverage. We're not just talking about one, but multiple cameras. Utilizing the power of a long-range PoE switch, supporting distances up to 250 meters and 800 meters. So get ready to optimize your civilian setup. So deploying multiple long-range IP cameras presents several challenges that necessitate careful consideration. Maintaining a consistent and reliable infrastructure becomes important to address varying distances and ensure seamless performance. Challenges might include signal degradation over extended range, potential interference, and the need for sufficient power distribution. So a robust network architecture, quality cabling, and strategic placement of the network equipment become essential to overcome these challenges and create a resilient environment for multiple long-range IP cameras. And the long-range PoE switch are innovative devices designed to extend the reach of network cameras by delivering both data and power over a single Ethernet cable. So power over Ethernet technology fundamental to these switches enables a simplified and cost-effective solution for camera installation. These switches play a pivotal role in eliminating the need for additional power sources near the camera cameras, streamlining the setup process. Then over here, we have our A-port long-range PoE Plus switch. It stands out by supporting extended range for 250 meters and reaching up to 800 meters, offering unparalleled versatility in diverse civilian scenario. And the connected device can receive 100 megabit per second data rate within 500 meters and also compatible with the IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard, supply up to 30 watts of maximum output power. And selecting the right long-range PoE switch is important for ensuring optimal performance in multiple camera installation. You should consider factors such as power requirement, ensuring the switch can provide sufficient power to all connected cameras over the desired distance. Transmission distance is another key consideration. You should choose a switch that supports the required range for the civilian and set up. Additionally, assessing the port capacity of the switch is essential to recommend the number of cameras in the network. So by carefully evaluating these factors, now you can make informed decision to enhance the efficiency and reliability of the long-range PoE switch setup. And you should start by gathering the necessary equipment, including a PoE IP camera, long-range PoE switches, Ethernet cable, power source, and essential tools. During the installation process, you need to pay careful attention to cabling and connection procedures. Use high-quality Ethernet cable to maintain signal integrity over extended distances, and properly secure and route the cables to minimize interference and potential damage. So follow the manufacturer's guideline for connecting each IP camera to the long-range PoE e-switch and ensuring a reliable and stable network for your civilian setup. And when deploying long-range PoE switch for multiple IP cameras, several key considerations contribute to successful setup. You should begin by verifying the power requirement, data transfer rate, and other specifications to prevent compatibility issues. Invest in high-quality Ethernet cable, preferably shielded to minimize signal degradation over extended distances, and be cautioned not to exceed the total power budget of the switch to avoid underpowering or overloading. 
enhance your system reliability by considering redundancy in critical areas, connecting your cameras to multiple PoE switches for backup support. And in a situation demanding exceptional long distances, you should explore power over fiber solution with fiber optic cables can efficiently transmit both power and data over extended range than traditional Ethernet cables. So today I'm going to show you two different ways to connect our bullet camera using our long range PoE switch. So for the first one, we are going to use a 200 meters Ethernet cable. So let's do the connection together. First, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router to our network video recorder. Next, I'm going to use another short patch cord to connect the router to our long range PoE switch. I'm going to use the 200 meters Ethernet cable to plug it in here. But most importantly, we can see we have two, three different modes default, VLAN, and CCTV. Make sure you put it on the CCTV mode. Coming over this side, we have 200 meters Ethernet cable and nothing else in between, only the cable. I'm going to plug in our bullet camera. And now I should be getting data and power at the same time. Let's look at the video footage on the camera, on the monitor. So as you can see, the video is already displaying on the monitor and there's nothing else in between. We don't need any extended devices, only a 200 meters Ethernet cable using a long range PoE switch. I'm going to wave my hands, show you this is a live video. So the whole connection is done. Now we are going to do the method two. So now we're going to connect to the bullet camera using total 800 meters Ethernet cable. We have 200 meters here, 300 meters, and another row of 300 meters Ethernet cable add up to 800 meters. But this time, we'll need to use a PoE adapter in order to transmit the data over 800 meters Ethernet cable. We are still using this long range PoE switch, so everything stays the same. Now we are going to connect our 200 meters Ethernet cable to the first 300 meters row using a coupler. This is just a simple coupler so we can join the cables together. So make sure it's tightly attached. And then we are going to join this row with this row using another coupler. So they're joined together. And at last, we are going to connect our 800 meters Ethernet cable to our PoE adapter. We have the input port and the output port. Plug it into the input port. And then using another short patch cord to connect the output port with our bullet camera, just like this. Let's plug it in here. This is a special mounting tool, so you can mount your PoE adapter anywhere that you want on a DIN reel. So now we are going to wait for the video to display on our monitor. Here we go. So it's already connected. As you can see, the video is already displaying on the monitor. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. And we have just achieved 800 meters in between. 
So in conclusion, the installation of long-range PoE setup involves selecting the right equipment, also planning your camera placement, and adjusting potential challenges. And the benefits of utilizing long-range PoE switch offering extended connectivity distance without compromising performance. And the versatility and reliability of this solution make them ideal for various scenarios. And as you embark on your IP camera installation journey, we encourage you to like, share, and subscribe our channel for more informative tutorial, ensuring you stay informed and make the most out of your security setup. And thank you very much for joining us today, and I'll see you in the next video.